It was a challenge, uh, a huge challenge for me. I did several films uh, which played in, in the uh, Nazi time, and Third Reich. And uh, every film was special, I would say, or nearly every film was special. But this was uh, even more special because it touched two topics uh, which usually people are a little bit afraid of. And as Ulri Limmer called me uh, during another sh shooting, I was interested, of course, from the first moment, but afraid also to be honest. honest to be honest, this was the first time we worked together and yeah. it was a very good experience and we, we, we worked very well together. And so we are planning to do another film based on, on true facts. Uh, it is a story which took, takes place in the, in the 17th century and it's about, yeah, it's, a, it's about uh, how tyrannism happens and uh, how people can, how is it possible that people react like a tyrant, like a dictator and how people can, um, das aushalten, can stand that, how people can survive in such deal a situation, with that. deal with that. Uh, this is my second fiction film. Uh, because I'm the Taiwan Operational Director, so when I shoot in the film, I always focus on the, the tribe and Aboriginal. So, because uh, uh, actually the Aboriginal people in Taiwan, just a few people, just two person. So, actually we don't have the, we had a hard life. So, I want to talk about something, but I don't want to use a very serious uh, Serious uh, language, serious uh, story to talk about. So I three the three keys to talk about the serious problem. Actually, Giovanni is my second festival, but uh, oh, it's uh, I my screenplay. I see the all the children's uh, jewelry. I think oh, it's a uh, very choosy. You know, even they 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 like they don't like. It's very yeah. very choosy. Yes, yes, it, it's okay because before jewelry is. Uh, it's a dot. Um, the film is about a violin player who teaches music in the favela, and some, he changed the, the, his life and the life of the community. The, the students he teach music. Uh, the idea I got, I was invited by the producers to do the film, and I did it for two reasons. The first one was that uh, my parents, both my mother and my father, were musicians and I was raised uh, inside an orchestra. So I did somehow the film as a homage to them. I mean, I was raised in, the, in an orchestra. It's that, that's something I know from childhood. And the second reason is that I wanted to talk about hope. Uh, because I think, uh, although the Brazilian problems are, are quite big ones, we, we have the capacity to change it. And I think it's important to talk about hope because once you think there's no way to change the reality, you just feel comfortable about doing nothing. So I think uh, I, I thought on the, when I was doing the film that was important about, it, about hope. I, I have just arrived in Gifoni. I just had the, the... I saw the screening. I was very impressed by the, the screening about the enthusiasm of the young people in the, in the screening and I was very impressed also by the questions I think they were very most of them were very clever questions very intelligent ones I have learned with those questions and I, I, I haven't seen much because I have just arrived I'm in the middle of a world tour to promote the film so I'm a bit jet lagged coming I have just came from Japan but I'm enjoying myself and I will know more about Tiffany in the next three days. Actually, the idea comes from the two screenwriters. Um, both of them grew up in Eastern Germany and uh, that is why they were not allowed to travel abroad very far. So Romania was a country they knew and they went there uh, in their youth years so, um, that, so they decided to set up the story in Romania. And the second thing that um, brought up the story was an incident that one of the two writers um, um, lived on. 
he was, uh, when he had, 15 years ago, he had a small daughter and he was traveling with her through Mexico and she got lost for one day. And so the question, how do parents react when such a thing happens, what do they do? And all this panic and fear of losing a child in a foreign country uh, when it gets lost, this was the origin. I really love it. It's the most precious festival I attended, really. I'm not kidding. Um, you know, um, making a movie for kids is something very, very special. And you, I never had such a direct connection between the movie and the audience. And I was really overwhelmed by all the reactions. Uh, I'm so happy and deeply touched. Uh,